So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and screenshot on your Mac Mini. Now there's a few different ways to do this for the most part, but the very first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and just make your way over. You can do a few things. You can screenshot via your keyboard or you can screenshot via QuickTime Player. So if we go and make our way over to QuickTime Player, just click on the top right, right up here and go ahead and just type in QuickTime. You can also find it inside of your, you know, launch pad, but there's no point in doing that right now. So go and open up QuickTime and you may not even know if you're in QuickTime or not, because if you look on the top left, you should be able to see QuickTime Player. So there's not really a pop-up sometimes. So what you want to do is you want to click File and you want to go ahead and click New Screen Recording, which is right there. So when you do that, you will see this panel. Now what you can do is you can go ahead and you, if you want to take a screenshot, you can go ahead and click on these three options up here. So you can click capture entire screen. And if you want to, if you want to take a full screenshot of this, you can go ahead and just, when you see this camera icon, you can just go and click there and it will go and take a screenshot of the complete entire page. It will go ahead and save it if you want to. In this case, I'll delete it. But if you want to, instead of doing it that way, you can also go ahead and click up here and you can go and click again, new screen recording. And you can go ahead and choose this option to capture a selected window. So now it's going to, you know, just allow you to, you know, basically screenshot one area if you want. If you want to capture a selected portion of a photo, you can go and do this way as well and go and click capture and that will go and take the same exact screenshot. Now that is not normally how I screenshot my images. What I do is I use my keyboard. So if I go and bring my keyboard up here, what I do is I hold down three buttons, the command button, the shift button, and the four button. So I will hold down these buttons at the same time and if you look closely, the cursor will then change. So what happens here is that the cursor will then pretty much go ahead and I can go ahead and screenshot the image. Basically, if I want to, I can go and like highlight a specific portion of the image and that will allow me to screenshot it. So just like that, I've just taken a screenshot. So by holding Command Shift 4, that basically allows me to, you know, kind of screenshot that image. But if I go and hold down Command Shift and 5, that will go ahead and allow me to capture a specific window just like this. And if I hold down Command Shift and 3, that will go ahead and basically capture the entire window, just like how it shows here. So those are pretty much a few different ways to screenshot. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.